feel the need to challenge this? Well, put, let me put it this way. Why would anyone not want to count the votes and to be sure that they are counted accurately? What we know is that uh, there were lots of hacks taking place around this election, hacks into voter databases, into party databases, into individual email accounts. And what we also know, unfortunately, is that the equipment that we use, much of it is not just open to hacks, it, it basically invites hacks and malfeasance, tampering, human error, et cetera. Some of the voting machines in use in Wisconsin, for example, have actually been prohibited in the state of California because they've basically been proven to be wide open to tampering. So what we're saying is, you know, not that, um, uh, you know, hacking or fraud has necessarily taken place. I don't think we have evidence of that, but I think it's uh, only natural and it's good for Americans to be reassured that our votes are counted, especially after such a divisive and bitter election where 80% of Americans, according to a New York Times poll, basically said they were disgusted with this election, they didn't like the candidates that we were limited to, they were screaming for open debates and other choices. It was a very bitter election where so many people were voting against their worst fear rather than for the candidate that they wanted. In Wisconsin, with almost 3 million votes cast, Donald Trump edged Hillary Clinton by less than 28,000. In Pennsylvania, out of almost 6 million votes, his advantage was 60,000. And the count in Michigan still remains too close for CNN to call the race. But now some political activists say in counties using electronic voting, Hillary Clinton appears to have mysteriously underperformed compared to areas with paper ballots by as much as 7%, according to what they told top Clinton aides in a call urging an official review. They've not released their analysis nor provided proof of hacking, but that margin could have tipped Wisconsin, and if the others went her way too, she would have won.